So certainly a big contest tomorrow, and you'll have to bundle up if you're going to attend in person. Same thing for the Washburn game. It looks like it's going to be very, very cold early morning. The temperatures gradually improve some, and sunshine will try to help out, but there's also going to be a pretty good breeze. Not as windy as what we have today, but cold, frigid air early, and then cold and breezy for the ball game itself. Now, right now, it's a winter wonderland outside, and it worked out pretty well here. Everything's sticking to trees and grassy surfaces, but the roads are pretty good, and most roads are dry, especially those heavily traveled roadways. There's a look at downtown with the cloud cover and there might be a flurry left over, but for the most part the snow is long gone and areas out toward the west and southwest getting three and a half to five and a half inches. And then looking at some specifics, Junction City at three and a half, Emporia with three. To peak at 1.8. And when you measure snow, you can't measure it on concrete or asphalt because obviously most of that melted away. And you can't measure on the grass because those uh, basically snowflakes landing on top, if you were to stick a ruler in there, it would go between the blades of grass and give you way too high of a total. So you almost need a block of wood or something like that. And also scattered around. So you can get a measurement here, a measurement over here, maybe a measurement way over there. Uh, you don't want it close to the house either. And that's going to give you the most accurate reading that you can come up with. So outside right now, we're dipping down. We were in the low 30s. Now it's 29, a west wind of 7, making it feel even colder. And there's a look at the numbers with mid-20s in Concordia, 26 in Emporia, and 28 in Lawrence. So with the snow that's out and about and these temps, it certainly feels like early winter. And there's the wind chill, 22 Topeka and 16 out toward Concordia. That's where the winds are picking up already. So looking now. No snow showers, although it's going to be this area in northeast Kansas from Leavenworth back out toward Hiawatha that may get a snow shower. That's the likely area to get something because it's this wave heading right toward Omaha, and the tail of this is going to clip these north and northeast counties and maybe something down toward Manhattan or Topeka. So we'll have our clouds, the passing snow shower that tries to clip through, more likely Hiawatha, Atchison, and St. Joe. And then once that's gone, we're going to be really clear tonight, and with some snow left over and the cold air spilling over that, it refrigerates. And it will be 10 to 15 degrees tomorrow morning early. But you're going to have sunshine to start off with, sunshine essentially all day. And so it's going to look pretty, but it's going to be cold and still breezy. But the wind coming out of a different direction. So today, blustery conditions at 35. The wind chill could be near 20 with a wind of 20 to 30 miles per hour. And then clear and cold tonight. There are your low to mid teens. And tomorrow, struggling to hit 39. It will not feel anywhere close to that, but it's going to be nice and bright. Wind south southeast at probably a good 15 to 20 miles per hour. And then on Sunday, it moderates a tab, but we'll have a mostly cloudy sky at 45. And there could be an isolated snow shower. I think a lot of that is before daybreak. And again, a snow shower is just something kind of falling. It doesn't amount to anything. Frosty early on Tuesday. And looky there, a chance to be in the low to mid 50s by Wednesday and Thursday. How about it? Have yourself a good day and a great weekend, but bundle up as we go through time. We're coming right back with more.